Hey y'all, I have an exciting video for you today, as you probably expected from the title. On Saturday, November 5th, my sister Savannah and I took a day trip to Tiffin, Ohio, which is a small town three and a half hours away from where we live in Cincinnati. Savannah and I are in a Facebook group called Grown Up Webkins, where Webkins fans who are adults can conveniently chat and set up trades with each other. So basically, one person posts about the store they found in Tiffin called Cabin Creations. This is the website. And this person in this group posts this picture of what looks like a long hallway with the hall lined with Webkin stock. Like brand new items and tons of them. I'm talking about plush. I'm talking about clothing, figurines, signatures, hamsters, handbags, and other accessories. And even friggin' Webkin's Jr. So then more and more people start going to this place and posting about it in the Facebook group. And it feels like everyone in the group is friggin' going to this store besides us. Not really, but it just feels that way. So I messaged my sister because both of us were putting a lot of thought into making this trip happen. And we did. So here's some footage of the trip. And I just want to say real quick, I'm so sorry for the video quality. I cannot freaking figure out how to get my videos from my phone to my laptop right now because it's new. And I'll figure it out later, I promise. But y'all are just going to have to do it. Oh, what's the they got a pair of nice. Oh. Alright y'all, we are on our way now. Um... We got Brandon, we got Savannah, we got Darren, and we got me. What time is it? It's like seven, I think. Yeah, seven on the dot. Seven on the dot, and we're on our way to Tiffin, Ohio right now because we're going to Cabin Creations. As of now, I'm just gonna be documenting our trip there. Um, so we're passing by Dayton now. We're about two hours away at this point. The sunrise is so freaking beautiful. He picks you. We are having a perfectly fast time this evening in the soft home of Darren. The rooms are decorated grimy with many stylish chickens. We must have at least three dollars. The guests are all steady. The guests are all steady, conversationalists. They're all stupidly dressed. Amy has been entertaining us by telling us about the time she showed her bitchy Canada. My, my, my. <laughs> the friend who mistook it for an early American moist. The refreshments are lottery, an idea of serving hot and shocked forced hors d'oeuvres showed imagination. Visiting here is always a cool experience. Oh, we're in a part of Ohio called Wapaka. Um, we went to this McDonald's and there was astronaut like stuff there. Um, there's a space museum somewhere around here and then we found these. And I think this one you can actually go inside. Oh, not very comfy. No. Yeah, not very comfy, but you got, a window. you got a window. And, um. Hey, Darren. Say hi. Hi. Say hi, Brandon. Can you get inside the other one, or is it just this one? Can you see inside it? You can see inside. Alright, I'm gonna climb on top. Looks so tiny in there. Here's a photo of us in the spacecraft thing. I'm not sure what it was called. It was kind of cool. I feel like the Midwest is full of these weird road trip stop attractions, although it's more of a historical type thing than just an attraction, and there are many of those too. Then eventually we finally got there. Um... I thought they were like 10 at least, or maybe, maybe less. Guys, I'm telling you, like, we saw pictures exactly like this one I took all over the Facebook group feed. 
before we came to this place. And then when the little old lady who owns the store directed us to the back aisle where the webkins were, it felt like we were walking into those photos or something, like they became reality for us. And it felt magical. It was just like, I don't know, Savannah and I both felt this extraordinary feeling, like I'm telling you, it was incredible. Here's another photo of it, and um, I'll show y'all what I got after the arcade footage. It was an extremely cool experience. Um, I'm so happy that this opportunity presented itself in our lives. We also went to this little video game store that was so cute. I wish I took photos of it, um, but here's some Google Maps ones. And then I finally got a new Xbox controller, and they sold Capri Sun, so Darren got us some. And when I tasted it, it was like even more nostalgia all over again. It was so awesome, because I haven't had one of those in so long, and I drank them all the time as a kid. So then we headed over to the Dayton area, which took us about two hours in the car again to get there. To this enormous mall where the arcade was, called the Mall at Fairfield Commons. This mall had so many cool stores. I don't know, my sister and I grew up loving when we would get to go to the mall on special occasions as kids. So we just love going to them together whenever we can. Um, Savannah and I are going to go back to it maybe in January or February to check out the rest of it. Um, because we only got to explore a little bit when we went at that time. But our main reason for going there was uh, the Round 1 Arcade which is a Japanese style arcade and the store there that sells Pokemon merchandise which is imported from Japan. So first we went to the arcade and it was totally the coolest arcade I've ever been to. They had all kinds of Japanese style claw machines, Japanese and American arcade games, and the coolest prizes I've ever seen at an arcade. I didn't do any of these kind because I've seen the Minori videos girl and they take forever to win and so much money so I just did the ones with this kind of claw and I won like seven things um, but I gave one to my sister um, because she really wanted it and couldn't win it um, so yeah the experience was just you know walking around winning so many prizes because the machines weren't rigged it was so awesome. So then we stopped to have a drink, and here's a little peek in my arcade wins bag. Um, and we played some other games. And here's me sucking real hard at skee-ball. I'm normally not bad at skee-ball, but something about my aim was just off that day. They also had really good ice cream there for like only $2 a scoop, so I got some for Brandon and I. Um, I also found out that Round 1 arcades are actually in Japan when I was doing research for this novel series I'm writing, and I thought that was super cool. This is what their prize room looked like. Um, there were so many cool things to choose from. If you're really good at games, um, you can get a lot of prize points, but I'm not, so I ended up getting so many things from the claw machine that I didn't really care. But it was still really cool to see all those prizes. Um, I got this picture from the thumbnail of this video posted by Claw Dude on YouTube. If you want to see more into the prize room there, check that video out. Link will be in the description. So then we went more into the mall, which already had their Christmas stuff set up. We went to the Pokemon store next, which was really cool. It's called Original 151. And here's the store's page on the mall's website directory. It says, We are sellers of 100% authentic Pokemon merchandise. Many of our items are imported directly from Japan and are nearly impossible to find in the United States. But then when I clicked the link, it gave me an error page and I don't know why. Uh, Brandon said something about it being like strange that this store exists. He was saying like this store has got to be illegal or something, uh, you know, because of the whole exclusivity thing of this merchandise only being available in Pokemon Center stores in Japan, but none of us know for sure. Brandon bought me this awesome little uh, Licky Licky plush and a pen with Blissey on it from the Pokemon store. And we also went to this anime merch store that was really cool. And I got some Pocky and other Japanese snacks. 
but then we just pretty much headed home after that. Overall, it was an amazing experience. Um, we all had a huge blast the whole day and we had a safe trip. Here's a little slow reel of everything I got from the mall and Cabin Creations. Uh, yeah, I couldn't have asked for a more awesome day to be honest. Thanks to everyone who watched this video. Bye now.